Good morning, DP. I'm Skylar Covert. And I'm Olivia Deveni. Today on DP News. Beautify DP. Canned Food Drive. Mentorship Program. DP Orchestra. And more. DP, DP News starts now. Tonight is the holiday parade. We better see you there. And it also is the season for holiday package. You will not want to miss out on this hilarious show. Tickets will be sold this week, December 7th through 11th at lunch in front of the flagpole. They are $8 for students and $10 general admission. Buy your tickets now. They will be sold at the door, but shows sell out fast and there's limited seating. Performances are December 14th through the 18th. The canned food drive is still going on. Drop-off bins are in the office, career center, and in P2. This will end on December 16th. The next Beautify DP will take place from 9 a.m. to noon on Saturday, December 12th. Students should wear clothing appropriate for gardening and cleanup projects and be sure to bring a refillable water bottle. Please sign up on the clipboard outside Ms. Stone's office. For National Honor Society membership, students are required to comp complete two hours of community service each semester. Beautify DP can be used to fulfill this two-hour requirement. This month's Beautify DP, which again is December 12th, will fulfill the fall 2015 community service requirement. UCSB Research Mentorship Program will be here at lunch on Monday, December 7th in room H30. Come and find out about this competitive six-week summer program for qualified, high-achieving high school students from all over the world and interdisciplinary, hands-on, university-level research. Students are paired with a mentor and choose a research project from a large list of disciplines offered by the program each year. We'll see you at lunch on Monday, December 7th in H30. For more info about this program, please see your counselor. Hey, Skylar, have you heard about DP Orchestra's annual winter concert? No, I'm not. Uh, you're really not in tune with what's going on, are you? Oh, man, Olivia, you really have to scale back on these musical puns. Uh, don't use that tone with me. Well, even if my jokes fell flat, the DP Orchestra sure won't. Tuesday night, December 8th, will be a fantastic night of orchestral and jazz music in the EPAC at 7 p.m. The DP Orchestra will be performing the music of Mozart, Prokofiev, and a special performance of music from Pirates of the Caribbean on Stronger Tides. It will feature our guest conductor, Dr. Paul Morey from Westmont College. Our intermediate and advanced jazz bands will be performing a variety of swing and Latin jazz featuring top artists. Admission is free, but a $5 suggested donation helps support DP instrumental music. That's all your campus news for today, Chargers. Olivia and Skyler, signing out. Now we're to Ashley and Jeffrey with the sports. But first, here's a video about nutrition. Okay, kids, I need you to form one line. There will be no kids coming from the left or the right. Everybody stay in one single file line. You will not receive any food if you're not in line. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jeffrey, here with your sports report. Today, girls basketball continues to compete at the Atascadero Tourney and throughout the weekend. Girls soccer tied 2-2 two two against Moore Park's challenging team on Wednesday, and they, today they travel to play the Santa Paula Cardinals. Boys basketball plays the Neponimo High School Titans, and tomorrow, girls water polo plays Foothill. Boys soccer beat Moore Park in a 2-0 victory and travel to the Cats and Hounds tournament held at Atascadero High. 
Congratulations to water polo players Luke Plant, Garrett Carlson, Ben Cable, Jason Tang, who received honorable mentions at the All League Channel Meet on, to, on Wednesday. Congratulations to Quinn Peacock for being selected as one of the top 12 water polo field players and Taylor Gusterson and Dylan Elliott for being selected as two of the top six water polo field players in Channel League. You may think you won that challenge, chow challenge, but in my heart, I won. Wrestling heads over to their first varsity tournament at Pete Duca tomorrow at Pioneer Valley High School. Best of luck, boys. Remember, those of you who bought Christmas trees from Athletics, you can pick them up at the tennis courts tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. It is first come, first serve. That's all for today, DP. I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Ashley, signing out. Now over to Nandini with current events. Another one. <laughs> Hey DP, I'm Nanny Brianza, your current events reporter. In a historic transformation of the American military, Defense Secretary Ashton B. Carter said on Thursday that the Pentagon would open all combat jobs to women. There will be no exceptions, Mr. Carter said at a news conference. They will be allowed to drive tanks and lead infantry soldiers into combat. They will be able to serve as Army Rangers, Navy SEALs, Marine Corps Infantry, Air Force Parajumpers, and everything else that was previously only open to men. Mr. Carter said that all women would be allowed to serve in military combat roles by early next year. He characterized the change as necessary to ensure that the United States military remained the world's most pow powerful. Have a good weekend, DP, and now over to Lizette with the weather. Today's temperatures will be 72 degrees, tomorrow's temperatures will be 74 degrees, and Sunday's temperatures will be 76 degrees. The surf will be 5 to 9 feet, with 9 feet being the highest point from noon to 6 p.m. I'm always on time with my jokes. I guess you could say I'm pretty punctual. I'm Lizette with the weather signing out. We'll see you on Monday, DP. Happy birthday.